Hello, welcome back. I'm playing EU4 as Ayatthaya, and this is episode 17. In the last episode, we started a war with Long Zhang, and we're still at war, and so far we're winning, and we're also fighting their ally, Sean, and I think this war is going pretty well, so I'm going to unpause it. I think right now we're trying to chase down Sean's army. Let's see if we can catch them. We're going to Tongu next. Will we catch them? Not yet. Oh, they're going into Pegu. Let's see. If we can catch this army, then. I think that's the only army they have left. Let's see. They're going into there. We'll, if they stop moving, we'll go like that. Okay. Come on, I just want to catch this army. This might be bad though. It's seven versus seven. It should be pretty close. Oh, our ally came to help. Uh, we're not getting the best of rolls, but still pretty good. And we're good. We won. Let's see, where are they running to? They're running to Tongu. I just want to kill this army, because then the war will practically be over. Okay, they're running upward and yeah if we can catch them that would be nice where are they going now she retreating to there come on we're losing money but once we finish up this war we should be gaining again Especially because we have a lot of funding for our troops right now. Okay, they went all the way down there. At least we kind of have them trapped here. A little. And... I think we caught them. We do have 5,000, 4,000 now. Oh, they got a good roll, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. Oh my god, they were treating again. I just want to kill them, so... We don't have to worry about anyone, because my vassals and allies have been sieging pretty much everything here. Okay. We're going to Kachin. I think this is the last place they can retreat, unless they go down here. Just want to finish them off. Yeah, I think they're stuck there. Come on. Oh, they're getting really nice rolls. But, <laughs> it's not enough. They're treating again. Saging. I would like to be able to catch them, so. Put an end to this war. We have sieged all of Long Zhang, so. And we're also sieging Sean. I would like to be able to siege most of their provinces so we can get a really nice peace offer. Maybe even. We can't vassalize them, but I don't know, maybe demand something from them. Okay, they're finally dead. Uh, where should I'll just siege right here? I don't want to siege so far away from my place in case there's rebels or anything. Looks like we're almost done converting the culture down here. Oh, it looks like Long Zen is actually fabricating claims. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're in any position to actually 
take over any of my provinces, considering they're being sieged and they have no troops, but okay. Looks like Sean is making some more troops. Should probably try cut them off before they group up. Let's see, will we catch him? October 2nd. Yeah, we should catch him. It would be nice to be able to cut them off and kill them individually instead of fighting all the... Oh, and look. The, he looks like he's trapped. Because he probably doesn't have access through them. Uh, lose one base tax. Stability. I don't... Um... I don't want to lose some morale, so I'll just lose the stability, and I think I can boost it right back up. Yep. Okay. So, I don't want any rebels, especially right now in this war. Oh, yep. Yeah, this is really nice being able to cut them off. I think I'll just try to cut some more of them off. Yeah, and we're going to start piecing out these guys pretty soon because we've been at war for a while and we're losing quite a bit of money from it but we should get some pretty good peace deal out of this like maybe even vassalize or take over longs in Oh, yep, easy war. Let's see. Where is this army going to Naga? We'll try to follow them and we can probably... Oh no, they're moving that way. We'll try to trap them in Naga. Hopefully... After this, I think we might want to peace out though, because we've already captured a lot of their provinces. Yep, and they're running away, but I think we can at least catch them in Naga. And that'll be nice. <laughs> we really need to get a good deal soon though. Come on. After. Oh, we're actually fighting. Rebels, well, that wasn't too hard. And we won. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull these guys back to my capital. Let's see if we can peace out Long's in. Actually, we should probably peace out Sean first. See what they'll give us, and then I think we can peace out Long's in after them. Let's see. Um. Uh, can't <laughs> full annex them, fully annex them. We could could make them release some people. Hmm. Maybe we should have them release Tongu. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's pause. <laughs> Diviet vassal. They will become a vassal Diviet. We could actually do that. That's pretty crazy. I think I'll just transfer trade power. And I don't really want any of their. Oh, wait. I could take. Oh, this is for Long Zen, too. I think I'll just clear off her. And peace out long then then. See, can we? It's not letting us peace out them, so. I think I 
Hmm. Could... I want Long Sands Provinces. Um... No, I'm trying to look for... Yeah. Of course, that would give me a lot of border friction, so... Maybe that? Oh, wait, no. Maybe I'll just take... Let me clear the offer. I, I kind of want to get them as my vassal. Hmm. I guess I can't. Um, I could make them Diviet's vassal. But I'm not sure if I want to because... I think I'll just take pretty much all their provinces even if it hmm wait can I take their provinces and yeah I can I'm not sure what that'll wait I think that gets rid of my provinces oh no it doesn't hmm and I don't want them as Diviet but Diviet's vassal they were Diviet's vassal then. Diviet might, if they ever go to war with me, that would be pretty bad. Um, anything else I want? Uh, they could get rid of their treaties. That would be nice. Okay. It's almost full war score. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. We reduced them to one province. And we gained a bunch of provinces. But Diviet's probably kind of mad at us because... Well, yeah, aggressive expansion. And they have a lot of border friction. Let's see, do they have claims in any of these? No. I guess we should start quarrying some of these provinces. Or all of them. <laughs> they don't really like us. <laughs> okay. That's good. Now we have expanded Ayatthaya. And looking pretty big okay protect trade and protect trade I think that was a pretty successful war we took most of Long Zeng and we got a lot of other stuff out of it too we're making money again and I think I can Lower some of this army maintenance so we can make a little bit more. Um, and yeah. We're also, we got three new provinces. We're doing good. And I would like to incorporate Pegu into our country, so I guess we'll take that mission. Hmm. I'm allied to a rival. Who's the rival? Oh, Coomer. Oh, looks like we have some rebel issues again. I guess we'll take care of them really quick. Hopefully this won't be too much of a problem. Oh, 
Hopefully my morale isn't that low. It's going back up pretty quickly. It should be close to full by the time we get there. So, that should be nice. Oh, Diviet wants military access? Yes. Wonder what they're doing. Are they at war with anyone? Let me check. Nope. Yeah, this should be pretty easy to clean up. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to cr convert the culture, but that's it. Oh, more rebels. Well, at least we have our troops there. And it looks like they're dying pretty fast. What's the rebel risk here? 8%. Oh, they're running. <laughs> but that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Hopefully next time we can core these, get the rebel situation under control. Maybe next we'll go to war with Sean because we've already fought them a lot. And um, yeah, they're pretty big and we could get some provinces from them. So see you next time.